Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the featherweight bout between Bill Algio versus Alexander Hernandez. And how I feel about this right here is I'm going average confidence Bill Algio to beat Alexander Hernandez. And yeah, to get to the point on this one, I just feel um, 45 is just not um, Alexander Hernandez's weight class. And not only that, I think Bill Algio is a better fighter, especially at 45. And so you're coming down to his weight class, you don't have, you already kind of have a little bit of cardio issue, cardio issues, maybe at 55, but especially at 45. At 55, it wasn't really that bad or really an issue, but 45 has definitely been an issue. And he come back down after clearly not having the best success at his weight class. And he's going up for a guy who's going to definitely test that. He can maybe try to wrestle, but what's that going to do? Maybe get him around and he's going to be exhausted and be even more susceptible to getting finished. So, um, yeah, so I don't think it's a smart move for him. I don't know why he's coming back down to 45 after that terrible performance he had last time at 45. But, yeah, I think Bill Algio should be able to address the wrestling, address the striking. And at best, I feel like Hernandez is going to try to come out with some power and try to, you know, look good through a, a round, maybe a round and a half at, at best. But I think he's going to start to fade heavy. And I think Bill Algio is going to make him work the whole time. And Bill Algio is not gonna, only going to just allow him to lay on him for too long. Maybe at most like two minutes in the first round. Again, maybe at most first because he's probably going to use all his muscles and all his might to hold him down for dear life maybe that first round. Or, but even then, I feel like Bill Algeo is not going to really be too worried, going to be able to work his way back up to his feet. But Hernandez is going to probably be able to win himself a round that way. But also, he's going to be Bill Algeo just constantly pressing him, constantly picking up the pace on him. And it's been too technical. And Hernandez really just trying to do these big overhand, these big shots. And... At this lighter weight class and also being weight drained, it's going to be too telegraphed, too easy to see. And Bialdo is going to make him miss and make him pay, just tag him and stay on top of him, like the volume, and not give him that space to breathe and just really win and dig into him the whole fight. And then eventually being able to put a stamp on him. I think, like, a, I'm going to say a third round submission for Bialdo. So it just really exhausts um, Hernandez's whole fight, take away his win, never give him really no space to breathe, make him work the whole time, make him have to dig in. You know, be on reaction or defensive mode the whole time, not knowing what's coming next, and not even allow his brain to rest, not allow his his um him to breathe or his brain to rest, and um, it just really exhausts him to the point. Probably um, Hernandez probably to start hugging legs, and then from that point um, Bilal will probably run some ground and pound, spin, take his back, sink in the rear neck, I mean sink in the hooks, and then sink in the rear neck choke, and tap him out. Probably with the clock winding down like one minute thirty seconds, exhausted, probably leaking a little bit. And he gets tapped out third round. So in this one, I had Bill Algio be a third round submission. 